Hey guys, it's Dr. Roberts, your Madison and Goodlandsville chiropractor. And in this video, we're going to go over what we put into our morning shake. Now this shake that I'm getting ready to show you guys is the shake that I drink every single morning. Uh, some days it's the only thing that I have for breakfast and we're going to go over each individual ingredient and show you how that you can make this shake so that you're not getting hungry by lunchtime. So the number one ingredient that you're going to see in the shake or in most shakes is going to be your protein powder. Now, there are numerous brands and numerous different types of protein powders, and you can seriously go down the rabbit hole of which ones are good, which ones are bad, what's gonna be a right fit for you. Uh, if you're really serious about considering what type of protein powder, I uh, will encourage you to do some Google searches, some YouTube searches, and you will find multitude of different, whether it's whey protein or vegan protein or what's you know lactose-free, whatever's gonna be best for your dietary needs. Uh, for this video, we're going to kind of sum it up in two of the major different types of protein, and that's your normal everyday protein powder versus your whey isolate protein powder. Now, the major difference between these two uh, is going to be the isolate is going to be the better quality protein, and it's also going to be more expensive. So you're looking at a, a normal tub of protein here, which is a five-pound tub. This is going to run you anywhere from... 40 to 50, maybe even 60 bucks. Whereas a three pound tub of the isolate is gonna be about the same cost. So it really boils down to what you're looking to do with your protein powders and your budget. So uh, again, for this video, we're just gonna be using the chocolate protein powder. Now, I get this question a lot. What protein powder do you use? Is there a certain brand? Guys, what I do is I never repeat, and this goes for all of my supplements, I never repeat the same brand back to back. So when this runs out, which you're actually getting ready to run out, uh, I'm gonna get a different brand just because I don't like my body getting used to the same thing over and over and over. And that goes for everything that I buy. Uh, and where you should buy, that is another big question. So you see I'm rocking the, the NutriShop shirt here. Guys, whether you're in Gallatin, Hendersonville, Madison, Rivergate, Goodlesville, wherever, there are plenty of awesome nutrition shops around here, whether it's NutriShop or Vitamin Shop or Advanced Nutrition, which is in the exact same shopping center that we're at. Uh, if you have questions about protein or any type of supplement, I encourage you, go into those shops. Their employees are super nice. They're all pretty knowledgeable, so they're gonna be able to help you uh, select the best supplement that's gonna be right for your lifestyle, dietary needs, whatever you're looking to do. So. We're gonna get these out of the way. Actually, this is uh, this is pretty sweet. This is the cookies and cream. We use these for making our fat bombs. And I'm gonna make a video uh, specifically on fat bombs, so you'll see more of this uh, protein powder pretty soon. But I'm gonna get these out of the way for right now so that you can see what I'm doing. My wife really likes these, me not so much, but it's really preference. Flavor-wise, I'm pretty much chocolate every single time when it comes to my morning shake. Uh, but you, Pick what you like, pick which flavor you're gonna like. Um, plus, you have to understand, I've been doing these shakes or some version of a protein shake since high school. So way back then, for those of you that are watching this video that have done protein shakes for that long, you remember the flavor and the taste and the consistency of protein powders back then was awful. So comparing these to back then, this is like dessert. Uh, but if you're new, if you're new to protein shakes, if you're new to protein powder, it may take a couple different samples, a couple of different brands to hone in on what flavor and what consistency that you're going to enjoy on a daily basis. That also leads me to my next point when it comes to protein shakes. You can do one of two things when it comes to your protein shake. You can make it, take it on the go with you on your way to work or on your way to the gym and just kind of sip on it and enjoy it throughout the day or throughout the morning if that's what you're wanting to do. For me personally, I don't make this shake for its taste. I don't make this shake because I enjoy it. I make this shake because this is my fuel and this is my energy for the morning. So as soon as I make this shake, I kill it, move it on about my day. I'm not too concerned about the taste. But like I said, we can talk about taste and we can talk about what you can add to these shakes to help those flavors if you're new to doing this. Okay, so first things first is we are going to use the bullet mixer here, the magic bullet. Now I'm gonna link in the description below links to where you can get this stuff, all these different things. Uh, but this is gonna be uh, an affordable option for you. I think this is about 40 or 50 bucks. The nice thing about this is it comes with multiple cups, multiple lids. Uh, so it has a lot of different attachments. 
for different needs. So first things first is we are gonna take a scoop. Like I said, this is almost gone. So a scoop of protein powder, put it in there, we'll get this out of the way. Next thing we're gonna add frozen blueberries. So this is gonna to add to flavor as well as the nutrition uh, to help out with your macros on this keto lifestyle or low carb lifestyle or whatever dietary uh, option that you're doing. I forgot to get a spoon, so we're just gonna grab a spoon right here. Again, just put some in there. I don't measure this out. I usually just put a couple of spoonfuls. Good to go. Get that out of the way. Now, next things next is we are going to add, if you are on a workout regimen, if you're going to the gym on a regular basis, uh, I like adding a scoop of creatine. This is gonna help with muscle repair and building muscle. So a scoop of creatine as well as greens so if you are struggling on a daily basis to get enough leafy greens enough healthy leafy greens into your diet i highly encourage you getting some kind of ground up powdered green supplement and again i just do a teaspoon scoop in there like that get that out of the way now i will warn you the green powder has a very significant flavor we'll just leave it at that so be prepared for that um, as you're doing that so this is going to be amazing for the keto this is mct oil this is basically coconut oil medium chain uh, triglycerides so what we're going to do with the mct oil is i don't measure it out i usually just dump a little bit in there close it up now what this is going to do this is going to increase your fat uh, for your macros on the shake. Uh, another thing that it's gonna do, as you increase the fat intake of this shake, it's gonna help you get through the morning easier. It's gonna help you get to lunch without being hungry. Now, another thing that you can add, if you're doing this shake over and over and over and you find that you're getting a little bit hungry before it's lunchtime, add some almonds. The fat content in the almonds are, will also uh, help you reach lunchtime without getting hungry. Be wary though, that if you add almonds, sometimes this doesn't mix up evenly, so you might have to blend it a little bit longer, or just be aware of when it's done blending and you're done drinking it, there's gonna be some nuggets of almonds still left in there. Just chew those up, swallow those down, you don't wanna throw those away because that's gonna be important for your macros. Now, the last thing that we're gonna add is the almond milk. Now, we always get, and I highly encourage this, unsweetened and original. Don't get the unsweetened vanilla or unsweetened chocolate or unsweetened anything else because that's gonna be added sweeteners, added sugars that you don't need. So unsweetened, original, this is Almond Breeze. All the brands come in unsweetened, original. So again, I don't really measure, just kind of eyeball it, pour it in there. Then you just put this on. And hopefully this won't be too loud on the video. You just put it on there, turn it on. Now, like I said, with the frozen blueberries, uh, it's the same as with the almonds. Sometimes those don't get ground up enough, so maybe take it off, shake it up a little bit, turn it on again. And there you go. There's the shake for the day. Like I said, you can take it with you. If, uh, if you buy the Magic Bullet, I know it comes with lids, so you can take this with you to work. Uh, but I personally just like to kill it. Now, the last thing that I do in the morning, like I said, for my, for my supplements is, if you've been watching these videos, remember I had the keto headache or the keto flu in the beginning. One thing that leads to that is a lack of magnesium, potassium, and sodium. So with the, uh, with the sodium and the potassium, that usually wasn't a big issue, but the magnesium was sometimes difficult to get with real food throughout the day. So I do supplement with a magnesium supplement every single morning. This is magnesium glycinate. So you gotta be uh, careful when you're going to the store and buying your magnesium supplements. And those of you that have asked me about this in the office, I talk about this over and over and over. Do not get your magnesium from Walmart, Target, Walgreens, because if you read the label, most likely that's gonna be magnesium oxide, which is the worst kind to get. It's not very, bioavailable, which means you're basically just going to be peeing it out. Your body doesn't absorb it. So magnesium glycinate, uh, magnesium citrate, and there's a couple others that are really good are the ones that you're going to want to get. So uh, pretty standard across the board. Magnesium, you need about 400 to 500 uh, milligrams a day. So two of these every morning. 
and I'm good to go with my magnesium. I'm good to go with my greens, and I'm going to go over uh, this here in just a second. But again, this is the shake uh, that's going to get you to lunchtime. I highly encourage you if you're struggling, if you get tired of eating eggs, or if you're not sure what to do for breakfast. I'm telling you, this shake is all that you need to get you to lunchtime. And it's uh, the macros on this is perfect for the keto lifestyle uh, or any other type of diet that you're trying to do. So last but not least, you've probably seen this sitting here. This is what I recommend on a daily basis for anybody that is trying to increase their water intake. Fill up a gallon jug with water and try to consume the entire gallon throughout the day. Now, there's different formulas, there's different equations that tell you what, how much water you should be drinking each day. For me guys, this is the simplest way. Just one gallon a day and you're good to go. It's blue because I've added something that I forgot to bring over here. BCAAs or BCAs, branched chain amino acids. That also helps with your nutrients throughout the day. And as well, remember I mentioned uh, sodium and potassium. So we add these Mio Sports uh, electrolytes. One little squeeze in here. That's going to help me get my sodium and my potassium as well. I drink this throughout the day. You can carry this around with you or take it to work and carry a little cup so that you don't have to look like a, a meathead at work. But uh, I highly encourage you. That's going to help you if you're transitioning into this, drinking plenty of fluids. You can track it. Drink this shake. It's going to help get you, on your, get, get you started on your journey to keto or any other type of paleo or any other type of uh, diet or lifestyle that you're trying to do. Uh, guys, I hope this is uh, helpful. Like I said, I'm going to link the majority of this stuff in the description below so that you can, uh, if you need help finding this stuff, but most of the stuff you can just find here locally. All right, guys, so I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below or ask me in the office. We'll see you next time. God bless.